So here's a thought for you. Does your personality or your psychology influence your training? And how does it influence your training? And one of the things that we know is that actually if people enjoy what they're doing, they do better. This has been established many times. So if you like to squat, then you're going to do better at squats because you enjoy it. And if you hate squatting, then you're probably not going to be very good at squatting because even if you do it, um, if you're not enjoying it, you end up half-assing these things. So when people do things that they enjoy, even if it's CrossFit for that matter, um, you'll do better at CrossFit if you actually enjoy doing it versus just forcing yourself to do it, right? Uh, you don't like long distance running, but you do it anyways, okay? But the guy who runs because he loves to run, he's going to beat you. It's just the way it is, right? How do we apply this to the training and how does your personality affect these things? And, um, you know, I'll use myself as an example. Uh, I am someone who can do the same thing every single day and never get bored with it. Uh, this is probably something I developed from doing all the long distance running and long distance swims. Uh, there's nothing more boring than getting into the pool and going back and forth while staring at a black line. Just back and forth and back and forth. It's really boring. So if you don't like that, because you're kind of alone with your thoughts, you can't listen to music, you're in the pool. Um, you're just going back and forth. So you're alone with your thoughts. And if you don't like that, you're not going to enjoy long distance swimming or running for that matter. Although everyone has iPhones and iPods and earbuds and all this stuff like that. Uh, now, whenever I was younger, you had a Walkman and uh, when they came out with the ones that did the CD, you really couldn't run with them very well. They would skip constantly, which became more annoying. So it was like, well, screw it. I'd rather just run with silence. And the point being is that in my training, right, with lifting weights and stuff like that even, if you told me the secret to being able to jerk double body weight was that I just come in and do jerks every single day for the next five years, I would come in seven days a week and spend you know, the entire time just doing jerks over and over and over again. I don't need any variation or variety in my training for me to continue doing it. I don't care how boring it is. Uh, this is probably why I did well in school is because I just can do things that are really boring that I don't really want to do and I just, okay, I just have to do it. If you're someone who thrives on variety though, that's not going to go well for you. In fact, actually, you'll probably hate most programs out there where they're just kind of like, you know, squat, bench, deadlift, and you're just going to repeat the same three lifts over and over and over again. You might do better on something where you're doing a west side type thing, where you're doing a camber bar one week, and a, you know, safety squat bar another week, and then a box squat another week, and then a low bar, and then, you know, whatever variation you're doing, right? More variety keeps you interested. Uh, Olympic weightlifting, right? If I came in and all I did was just snatch, clean and jerk, back squat, I would do that every single day and never get bored. Someone else might do better though if they have various complexes in there and uh, you know they have other exercises that you know well on this day we're going to do hang snatch to snatch or you know on this day we're going to do you know pull um, power full right like whatever variation it is it, they're doing a bunch of different complexes and you know some days they do good mornings and some days they do RDLs and you know, some days they, they do whatever. It doesn't make a difference. Um, the point being, is some people need that variety because otherwise they just get stale. They get bored and training gets stale for them. You need to pay attention to this because your psychology and your personality do matter. Uh, which one is the optimal program? It really doesn't matter that much. Uh, I know we all think it does, but in reality, if you have more variety in your training, and that's what you enjoy, you'll probably do better than if you were just forcing yourself to do the same snatch, clean and jerk, back squat. Like, if you hate doing that, you're not gonna put the same effort into it. If you don't mind doing that, then you'll probably come in and just do it because you're a boring person like I am. You're vanilla. Um, not very exciting. This isn't Rocky Road or uh, Half Baked, right? Ice cream flavors, folks, ice cream flavors. Uh, don't condone drug use being baked. That's ridiculous. So, my point being, pay attention to your psychology. Pay attention to your personality. And if you're a coach, pay attention to the personality and the psychology of your athletes. Some of them will thrive on a program where you just do the same things over and over again, simply changing the sets and reps and the percentages. 
other athletes will need you to constantly give them new variations of exercises in order to keep them interested. And being interested is very important because once you start hating this, you don't want to do it anymore and your effort level will drop. You're just going to come in and check the box rather than coming in and going hard. Uh, and that's the way I look at this. So does your personality and your psychology influence your training? Yes, it does. Pay attention and, you know, make a point to make your training, you know, match your psychology. If you seek variety and you like variety, then you want to have more variety in your training. If you're someone who doesn't mind the, you know, monotony of doing the same things over and over again, then go ahead and keep doing the same things over and over again uh, because, you know, like that will work. I'm not saying that you should come in and do just, you know, three by three to 80 percent every week. Obviously, you're going to change the sets and reps and the percentages, but maybe you're just back squatting every single week. You don't need to switch to back squat and safety bar and camber and spider bar and stuff like that. And that might work best for someone who, you know, enjoys that type of training. And that's really the point here. You need to pick something that you actually enjoy doing because you will put more effort into it.